Hello my fellow Martians and today we're gonna do some more wrapping up of the tasks uh, and today I want to be primarily focusing on the greenhouse I do want to pick up my crops plant some new ones uh, also and prepare everything because I'm thinking in the next episode I'm probably gonna be building a dome so quickly review of the situation it's been a while since I posted the last video about Occupy Mars so I figured might as well go in and do some you know cleaning up to do okay first I do want to load up a little bit of my you know suit battery I would like to make some more suit batteries but at the moment I don't have um, a silicone to do it so I'm gonna be charging this way and I realize that they have nerfed it in this patch because previously you could recharge your battery very quickly and very easily nowadays it's more along the lines of the water and everything else you can now recharge water so these quality of life changes are good but as you can see when i'm stucking my finger it's like 65 66 67 i mean you get the gist the point is it takes a long while so rather than wasting a full load i charge it up to the 80 roughly 80 of one percent and i decided you know what I mean it's enough I do have a big capacity of the battery so I'm just gonna roll with it and let's go into the maintenance of the greenhouse first I want to be checking on my crops so how are we doing beetroots beetroots are at 78% okay they need a day or two to be you know just ripe and good what how are our potatoes doing though our potatoes are 50% grown, which means seedlings are done. What now we need, we need to move them somewhere so that they could grow fully. Oh, and I don't have the big, um, yeah, do I have the, unlock the big uh, hydroponics? Improved, small dome, faster growth, big plant crate. Doesn't feel like, oh, composting oh it's here on the greenhouse plant incubator yeah large hydroponics shelf that's the one i've been searching searching for okay well let's try and build it then because i think i need another hydroponic shelf it's time for us to start gardening properly yeah farmer groundworks had a farm yeah yeah oh and on this farm he grew potatoes yeah yeah oh right so <clears throat> now let's see let us replant the potatoes from one place to the other i need to find my small crate though i think i've packed it here i just love this crates these crates are amazing guys seriously i mean they are so good in terms of allowing us to place things here look, look you just take here take the crate and then you can do everything i mean such a small quality of life change can have a tremendous impact all right now let's pick up the beans the the taters all right Patties, come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <clears throat> come on. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Put it down. Come on. All right. The plants are withering. I know. Two, th three, four. They're gonna survive for another minute or two. Let me just quickly take everything out. Okay. Two, three, four. There we go. That's a full load. And then one, two, three, four. And that's it. Okay. So now we have to ensure that these plants have ample of water, soil, and electricity. So we put here... We have plenty of water and we have <coughs> plenty of well everything so let's just put it down here and good i think overall we're good fine so now i could actually plant some more potato seedlings because i think i was thinking to close this down but why not let's plant some more potatoes long story short my plan is in the next episode i'm thinking of building a dome however i need to just get rid of the smaller plant growth first to actually get it grown and get it grown in a good place because once i do that i will be able to 
then uh, expand the operations, but I need to find some seedlings, so we will definitely need to be doing some trips further down the line. Okay, let's take my potato gun, and let's seed some potatoes. All right, come on. You know how it goes. Yes, 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 I produce my own sound effects. Heard that before. So, let's see. Okay, that's one container down, so we will be able to, and it's good because I want to get rid of these uh, low seedling containers. I want to be having and growing my own, so it will be good to actually get this out of the way, you know. Alright, so this one, this said magazine is actually here, and uh, the small plants crate I can return because I don't plan to plant. And the potato gun, we could actually move that one here as well, perhaps. Oh. Maybe I'll do it later. Okay, but anyway, look. Look how nice are these growing. Maybe I should put these ones down. I don't know. I, I think that they look cool. I'm going to stand out here and let me take a snap a selfie for the episode. All right, here we go. There we go. Beautiful. That's just amazing. Right, so with that thing sorted, I am thinking I wanted to do a little bit of electronics today as well. So, what do you say that we first dump these containers? Significant temperature drop in an hour. I know, I don't care. Okay, take it, dump it down. My plan is that we dump down these seed containers in the trash can because they apparently despawn, which is beautiful. Okay, see? Bye-bye. I mean, it's a simple mechanic, but a good quality of life. Right, bye-bye. Okay, so with that being said, now what I want to do, I've noticed that I have one uh, circuit board that is a little bit broken. And I was thinking, huh, how cool would it be that I actually tried to repair it? I've never tried it in the game, so bear with me. It's going to be probably the first. So let's see how hard it is. Okay, we have to... Oh my god, they have an electronics workbench. You Wow, shoot. Available faults three. Okay, well, bad components, they have a CPU and a coil. Well, coil is obviously missing. However, the CPU type, let's see, where can we find the CPU? So CPU we should probably replace. Now, I guess it means that we take the hot air tool and, oh, oh, oh I see, we need to put them near these faults. Uh -huh. And then the spot comes up and, okay, I think I get how it works. Okay, it's a little bit of a skill-based gameplay. Sure, why not? Okay, just move the spot, and now. There we go. Great job tool usage. Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of this. So you have to just point exactly at it. Good, spot, come on. Uh, uh, failed. Come on. Oh, I'm not good at this at all, am I? Okay, two. I guess the CPU is a little bit tricky component. It has a lot of things that you need to hot air to, so, so to remove the weld. So come on, come on. Spot, got it. Okay, one more, and then we need to replace the CPU. Okay, good. So now we have, we were able to remove it. Is there anywhere else fault? I'm trying to figure it out, but I don't see it. Hmm, okay. So let's see, can we remove now the CPU? Let me just double check on the other side. Is there anything else that I needed to unweld? No? All right, no, doesn't seem like it. Okay, fair enough. Then I guess this CPU needs to be removed. Come on. Yeah, I, I can relocate the part. Good. Um, how do I do it? I press on it or... Yeah, okay. Oh, as simple as that. And I just place it somewhere here and it gets despawned. Okay, good. We're learning electronics, guys. Now I need to find the C another CPU which is exactly the same one. Ho, 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 oh boy. Oh, there's one, CPU type one. Okay, so now I'm guessing we need to place it exactly uh, like that. No, 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 there we go. Am I happy? I'm happy. Okay, move one up and then place it. Oh, stop fiddling, ground forks, just stick it. Okay, good. Now use solder to solder the spots. Okay, got it. Solder, got it. Ah, red spots again. Okay, got it. Now we just have to find the way. Come on, spot. There we go. Great job. 
I'm getting the hang of this. Haha, -ha, soon I will be Mr. Electronics in no time. No, yeah, to be fair, I did study electrical engineering and I did, I did some soldering on my uni. So yeah, guess that's kind of okay. I'm and I'm missing a coil. Huh. Is there anything I should do here? Probably not. All right, so I guess I need to put in put up a coil. Now, where do I find the proper coil? Because it says coil type 2. Okay, on the top on the diagram. Okay, circuit board B. I see it. Monolithic memory. Ah, coils are here, so I need to find a coil type 2. Obviously, it's always the last one that you find. No worries. Okay. Oh, and there's an outline. Okay, so I should probably stick it exactly. And then I need to solder it on. On the spot. Beautiful. So now we need to solder it. And in my head, that means I should probably flip the board and then solder it from the back side. At least the way I understand it. Okay, let's give it a try. It doesn't show. Probably when I take the, not the hot air, the solder tool, it should show. Is there... Are there any red? Ah, there are red dots. I think I saw them on the other side. It's much cleaner, so I can actually put it here. Okay, come on. There we go. One and two for two. Beautiful. It says, it says available faults one. I don't see any faults because my background screen has reported, so I think it's actually go going okay. And I've gotten the board back. Beautiful. You know what, guys? It's actually 3.12 in the morning. I should really get some sleep. But I guess I think it's gonna. I'm going to wrap it up for today. In that case, thank you very much for watching. Fling a like at this episode, and I hope I'll see you in the next one.